What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Fly Young Gentleman here. And um, I'm doing this little series, and I, I really like where it's headed. Where I'm just reviewing games. And you guys know Destiny's coming up. But I had some spare time on my hands and decided to play ZMR, Zombies, Monsters, Robots. If you haven't heard of this game, it's a free-to-play shooter that many YouTubers have been raving about. Uh, it was out of fucking nowhere. So I assume maybe, you know, they paid them uh, to play the game or something. You know, don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just that it came out of nowhere. Or maybe they just all happened to find it at the same time. So here's my honest review of it. I'm going to be telling you what I feel, uh, you know, what, what I've learned so far, you know, a few different things. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see, the PvP and PvE, uh, both things are pretty damn cool. Uh, PvE is pretty fun, and it, one thing before we even get into gameplay is you're going to notice this game is literally a, a reskinned um, combat arms, and if you don't know what combat arms is, I'll throw some gameplay up really quick here, or the, at least the lobbies, that's really what I noticed. Even though combat arms did go through a major lobby overhaul. I'll try and see if I can dig up some gameplay. If not, you're just going to see uh, the old UI, or I'm sorry, the new UI uh, that uh, we have. But this game is pretty much combat arms, but with a but in a completely different direction. Uh, not first person, better graphics. Um, I really like the way they, the, the cover system is really, it's clunky at times, but at other times it feels super smooth. Uh, the way the sprint kind of cover system goes. It really feels like Gears of War and Combat Arms had a baby. Uh, the way the Combat Arms kind of feel and the way, you know, all the weapons and everything work and the UI and uh, some of the gameplay aspects, especially with the randomness of the bullets, uh, the accuracy on bullets. But other than that, it really feels like Gears of War when you're playing like an elimination game mode, uh, which you're going to see here. Throw it up on the screen. It looks stupid. I mean, it looks the same thing. You can execute people and you die, you die, you don't, you don't. Uh, it feels a lot like Gears of War. And then you're going to have this like beast versus mercenary mode, which feels just like Gears of War. You know, you have the point tiers, you get different characters. Uh, one thing on that is you're going to notice that's in PvE or PvP, sorry, by the way. And you're going to notice like the, the zombies or whatever, the mercs versus zombies or whatever. Or monsters. The monsters are way OP, uh, and you can tell they totally store some sound or stole some st uh, sound effects from a fucking killing floor here. Definitely, most definitely, and uh, it's it's a pretty cool game. I really like it. Is it you know best title of the year? Hell no. Uh, is it a good free to play shooter if you don't have any money? Hell yes. Uh, I recommend picking up this game if, you, if you're not look. You know you don't have any games that are occupying your time. But you're looking for some free-to-plays to play. This is definitely a game you should try out. Now, it has its problems, yes. But it definitely is something that I feel is worth at least trying to install. And if you don't like it, wipe it off that hard drive. So, with the PvE, PvE you're going to see it's a wave-based kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can pick up the enemy weapons, which I really like. Uh, and, and you can just sit there with a team of some friends or randoms and get things going. It's pretty simple, pretty, it might get boring pretty fast, but it might not, depending on your grinding, trying to get level and stuff like that. Uh, PvP is definitely going to get you a lot more experience and stuff, and PvP <clears throat> is also a tad bit more entertaining in my personal opinion. Even though I am a PvE guy, uh, the PvP is just more fun. I really am not biased towards one, but I definitely, you know, enjoy the way the PvP is, even though... Uh, the monsters and shit are way OP in that game mode. And I feel like it takes a little bit too many kills or bullets to kill. And, and when you have a little bit OP armor, you are going to be doing a little bit more damage and shit of that nature. So all in all, what do I think? Well, I think this game is worth the download, at least the try. Uh, I, I don't think that, you know, it's going to be the best game in the world, but I definitely think it's fun. I think you guys should go try it. If you like these kind of games, you, you'll definitely like this game. Um, tell me if you enjoyed this series. Leave a like on the like you know button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it in the comment section below. If you're going to leave a dislike, I prefer you leave a comment as well. You can leave a dislike, but tell me why you didn't like this video. 
And, uh, you know, constructive criticism is always welcome here. So, final verdict. Download it. Try it. If you like these kind of games. If you don't, fuck it. Don't download it. If you like, you know what I mean? It's all up to you. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. I definitely recommend you try it if you like these kind of free-to-play shooters. Uh, it is a little bit pay-to-win. Not too much. Uh, more pay to do a tad better and have some cooler looking shit. But, uh, yeah. Uh, as for settings... I like to put that in. I know Total Biscuit, uh, Total Biscuit used to do it back in the day. I don't know. I haven't seen him in years. Uh, but he used to put the settings. Basic kind of shader options. A good amount. Definitely above average on the free-to-plays. And uh, yeah, deserves a props. This game is cool. And I hope you guys all go play it. Leave a comment down below what your opinion of this game was. And I'll catch you guys on the next review. I'm going to be doing these kind of sporadically. There's no real schedule. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to have class and get that ass. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.